Hello everyone, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. In today's video, I'm gonna make an almost invisible crazy patch. And let me know in the comment if you will be willing to do it. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. These are the pants that needs to be repaired. They are part of a nice vintage 100% merino wool suit, but a hole around the knee is emerging. So today I'm going to use a very old technique of patching the hole in an invisible <coughs> way. For that, I need to get a piece of material from inside the garment. Usually pockets and hem are powder gold. In this case, my hem is not wide enough, so I will have to go to the pocket. Of course, using the hem would have been so easy, but it's just that I need my square larger for at least one inch and a half long and width, but optimal two inches. And the hem doesn't have that kind of amount of material. But it's okay, I have the pocket. I'm gonna open my pocket and I will retrieve this material. And then if I need, I will use either the hem to put it on the pocket or something else. These tasks seem a little bit difficult, but in fact, it isn't. Those pockets are very easy to sew, so I'll be okay. I'll just have to be careful. Remember, this material is a vintage material, so I don't want to rip it while opening the pocket. One of my colleagues showed me this technique around 12 years ago or so. She said, teach me how to shorten the sleeve on a jacket and I'm gonna show you how to do this technique. Ooh, that would. <laughs> and you know, I would have told her the jacket anyways, right? Before cutting out my material from the pocket, I'm just confirming that it will be big enough for the patch that I'm gonna do. And when I have my material, just to be sure and safe, I will make like a little pattern of it in order to cut the replacement. And of course, after I do that, I have to leave half an inch to sew at one quarter. Okay, now I can work on it. I will start by removing some of the thread of both weft and warp. You can be a little savage and take two at the same time. <laughs> I try to be careful because I don't want that my little piece of fabric lose the shape. And I'm marking as well what is the grain of the material to not get confused because in the case of this, it's so difficult to know. They is, is pretty much the same. So I keep doing it and I keep making it smaller and leaving the edges until eventually I will have the right size to cover the patch. You can leave one or two thread more because sometimes you might lose one but don't leave it too big because the bigger you leave it, the most work and the most time you will have. So now I'm ready and I'm going to just put the patch. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Ah. I'm going to show you what I take in count to do that. I take in count the thread, the way that the material is woven. For you to see, I mark where I want to put the patches, like at the corner of my patch. It, it will go more or less like that. So you can take a look of what I'm trying to do here. It's a little bit tricky, let's say. I'm gonna open my sides to work more comfortable and I'm going as well stitch the patch to the fabric although this you don't really need that and you don't really need to glue it either but some of my friends do that because they understand that that way your job will be a little bit easier so I'm preparing myself it's almost done and now you need to prepare a needle for the needle, you are going to thread it, making a loop this way. So you go, thread, and then you take the same point and then thread it again, forming the loop. And this loop is what will help you to weave again all these little threads. Yes, all of them. Mm -hmm. 
it's very important that my patch is following the original type of woven design that has my pants. Otherwise, the patch won't be invisible. And when you start, they say that it's better to start from the corners, but for me, it's easier if I start in the center of one of the sides. What I do is the following. I single out one thread, the next in the line, and I will insert my needle where this thread should be if it were part of the material. And then I will make sure that my thread will be inside the loop, and then I will pull out my needle around half an inch wide. And that's it, you just keep repeating, single out, inserting the needle, making sure the loop will cut this thread and pull it out to the other side again. As you can see, this is a tricky job. This is a job that I really don't take. I have done that a handful of times. Once I had to give the money back to the customer, but then I learned another tricky things of this job because you have to take in count the original design of the fabric and you have to make it work seamlessly. Another thing is that you will need a magnifying glass is very important with the light will be even better and I did it with just my glasses which they are magnifying but you know what I mean so I finished you see that wasn't that bad and now I'm going to my ironing board and you have to kind of iron it to align very well all those threads and put it in the right spot it's good if you kind of push the material to the four sides while you are ironing so the thread it looks better and this is how it looks you see it's almost good still now i have to kind of make those thread more straight because i did things that were wrong like i shouldn't have based in that patch so now it lost a little bit the shapes but i will try to make the best as i can and put it right where it's supposed to be and i think it's getting where i need to be it will be all okay after I finish, or oh, <clears throat> more or less, good enough. <laughs> or <clears throat> you will judge that for yourself. <laughs> but now I am satisfied with the job I did. And I'm going to seal it. Gluing, iron on, interfacing. And then after, I'm going to the other part. And now I'm going to cut out all the little threads. And something else that I like to do this step, you don't need to do it, but I like to secure this interfacing with a stitch. I'm going to make a back stitch, but very carefully using the same thread color. So this stitch will be completely invisible and it won't be any problem. And my patch is done. I just need now to do the alterations that I needed to do to make that patch, which is I have to close the sides of my pants and I have to stitch back the piece of material that I removed from the pocket. I found a very similar fabric and uh, that way we can save the hem for something else and I'm using my little pattern that I had to cut it to the same size that I needed but when I saw it I see that it's not kind of the same color so I look for another and it's done so this is the patch you just tell me what do you think about it I know I know it's not perfect perfect but I'm very satisfied with it as I am not really an expert and I haven't done as many as I wish if I had the time. Seriously, my customer really knew of what we were talking about because sometimes people even don't believe that this job might be so tricky and that's why I took the job. So guys, let me know what you think. If you love a garment so much and be willing to do a patch like this, 
And remember that if you find this video useful, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Bye!